so this is truly a miracle because it's only been like what a week since everything happened demar hamlin's heart literally stopped on the football field on live tv they had to resuscitate him give him cpr for like seven eight nine minutes on live tv and now it's been like a week and dude's already out of the hospital that's a miracle you can't tell me that that's not a miracle but I think the amazing thing that we're seeing is so many people throughout the NFL are realizing that God is all around them and that God is with them and that God has always been with them. And this is massive because whether you want to like it or not, the NFL has a massive stronghold on our society. Like most people are going to go to an NFL game as opposed to going to church. If you gave 10 people the option would you rather go to a free nfl game or to church um i'm I'm thinking nine out of ten people are going to go to the free nfl game if you gave them the option even if it was paid at a discount they would probably still take the discounted tickets over going to church the nfl has a, a stronghold on our community so it's amazing to see so many people throughout the nfl throughout different organizations start to realize that God is the number one priority. And like I said in my last video, it's sad that it takes a tragic event like this to bring people to that type of awareness. But ultimately, it's a good thing. Because ultimately, we all need to understand that, yo, we're all going to pass away, right? So we better be right with God. If you don't know what's going to happen to you after you after you die, well, you better get in the Bible, because there's only two places that you're going to go. And, you know, depending on your relationship with God is going to depend, is going to determine on where you go, right? So I think it's incredible that everyone has rallied together and to pray for DeMar Hamlin and look at what God did in this situation. Look at what God did. You know, I was uh, at a business meeting today um, and I was talking to this woman and she was asking me what I do. And I was like, you know, I guess I'm a YouTuber. Um, and she was like, oh, well, you know, that's cool. Like, what do you talk about? And I was like, yeah, I talk about God and Jesus, you know, Christian stuff. Um, and she was like, oh, so you're like kind of a pastor. And I was like, no, nah, I'm, I'm not a pastor. <laughs> I'm definitely not a pastor. But, you know, I, I talk about, you know, different Christian stuff in the Bible. And she was like, you know, um, my kids, I have two kids. So this, she's like, you know, kind of. Um, not an older woman. I don't want to say that. I don't know if she's watching this or not, but, um, (laughs) she has adult children. Right. And she said that they used to, you know, go to church and, you know, that they're saved and stuff like that, but now they've become atheists. Right. And, you know, she wants them to come back to the faith and, you know, get back in church and, you know, get back right with God basically. And I don't know why I said this, but I was like, you know, sometimes, it takes a heartbreaking event in order for us to realize our need for God. Um, I don't know why I said that. It just came out of my mouth. I don't, I don't wish that on her or her children, but that's just what came out of my mouth. Um, but that's honestly what it takes for some people. Some people are not going to come to God. They're so stubborn. They're so prideful. They're so stuck in their ways or they're so logical that, For them to have faith, it would literally be a miracle. And it takes miracles to get people like that to believe in God. And I think that's what happened in this situation right here, because this is nothing short of a miracle. Now, I want to show you a video because yesterday the Bills played their first football game since everything happened with DeMar Hamlin, right? And on the very first play of the game, the Bills received the kickoff return and returned it like 90 something yards for a touchdown. Now, the probability of that happening is extremely low. I I think there's probably only been this season, probably like less than four kickoff return touchdowns on the opening possessions. Like that never really happens. It's extremely rare. So the fact that it happened on their first game since all of this happened has a lot of people shook has a lot of people looking around like, yo, God is real. And I want to show you what uh, Josh Allen said. He's the quarterback of the Bills. Take a listen to what he said uh, about the whole situation. Um, It's super, super interesting. 
You want the truth? It was spiritual. It really was. Um, bone chilling, like it was, it was. It was special. I can't remember a play that touched me like that. I don't think in my life. So it's it's probably number one. <laughs> it, it, it was it was just spiritual, and I just I was going around and I just I mean I was going around my team and saying God's real. Like you can't you can't draw that one up, write that one up any better. Um, and I, I was just told by Kevin Curran, it's been three years and three months. <sighs> Since the last kickoff return, so it's pretty cool. So you see how he goes from saying that, you know, it was super spiritual to then he goes around saying, he got more specific. He said, I was going around telling all my teammates that God is real. And like I said, you know, God doesn't want it to be that way to where, you know, some people only come to God when bad things happen. It, it, I would bet that God would just want you to come to God, would want you to come to him during the good times. He doesn't want you to wait to, until bad things happen because you're his child, you're his creation. He doesn't want to see you, you know, go through heartache and go through suffering and then realize, oh, snap, God is real. And he's always been here and he'll always be here. But sometimes that's what it takes. Some people need that. I want to show you something, uh, two other things. It was very interesting. Do y'all remember um, his name's Benjamin Watson? So he used to play in the NFL too. But y'all remember that clip? It's all over YouTube where it's like so-and-so talks about God and then they cut the broadcast. You remember he said something about God, you need, you need to repent for your sins. And then it was like, oh, snap, we lost him. I think it was on Fox News, actually. They're like, oh, snap, we lost him. And then, like, everyone was saying, like, yo, you can't talk about God on national TV. Like, and this is why. So that same guy from that video, if you remember that video, if you don't, then, hey, you missed out. <laughs> but that same guy from that video was on uh, CNN. And take a listen to what he had to say. Also makes us realize it's kind of low, I know. Where do our hearts stand? If that were to be us laying on the field, or if that were to be us laying in a hospital, what would our next steps be? And so on the flip side, with such a tragic event, there is tremendous opportunity. Uh, part of my prayers right now, Anderson, is for the players in both of those locker rooms, for the chaplains, who I know very well, who are right now uh, counseling and comforting players who saw a brother in a near-death experience and who is still fighting for his life because the questions about what happens after this life? Where will you spend eternity? As you mentioned, Anderson, are coming up for all of us, not just for the football players, but thank God that he provides an answer through his son, Jesus Christ. Mm. Also makes us realize I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Where do I These types of conversations were not happening on mainstream television. And if they were happening, they were getting cut off, like I just talked about. So yes, although this situation was heartbreaking, and it, it, it is heartbreaking, but look at what God is able to do in the midst of all this. We got people talking about eternity, the afterlife, and that the only way is Jesus Christ on CNN. And the only reason that that conversation was was able to happen is because of an open door through the situation with Damar Hamlin. So I want y'all to see this one more video. This is uh, the head coach of the Bills. And I think he has something really interesting to say as well. So take a listen. It might be a little bit low. I'm going to try to turn it up, though. Finally, and, and just as important as anything, is glory to God for um, for his keeping DeMar and his family in the palm of his hand over the last couple of days and his healing powers. Uh, with that, I'll turn it over to you. Uh, finally, finally he said, finally and most importantly is glory to God. I'm trying to tell you all, these conversations were not happening just a couple weeks ago before this happened. These conversations were not happening now. 
you can look at it one of two ways. You could say, well, the logical people, right? The people who don't want to believe God is real. They'll say, it's just a freak accident. It, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't mean God has to be in it. Y'all always try to make God about any, everything, right? You, you try to put God in everything. That's what the logical people will, will say. The people who struggle with having faith. But when you have faith, when you come to Jesus, when he opens your eyes, you can see things at a deeper level. I'm not saying I'm all, you know, I, I have this massive gift of discernment or anything like that. But, bro, <laughs> if you if you know anything about God, if you know how he moves, you can see that he's moving all throughout this situation. And I truly think that there's going to be a lot of people that get saved because of this situation. Because you got to look at it like this. Look at the impact that it's having on the players. Look at the impact that it's having on the players. And these are dudes who have massive followings, who millions of children and even, you know, grown men and women look up to these dudes because of their skill set because of what they're able to do on a football field. And now you have them coming to a realization that God is real. Just imagine if they keep going down that path and God continues to work on their heart. And now they're in a position of influence. Now they already have a platform. And now imagine if they continue to talk about God, if they continue to talk about their walk with Jesus, just imagine how many people are going to get saved and how many people are going to come to God. Now this is exciting but it also makes you wonder, you know, um, something's happening. Something big is happening. Something big is coming. And I know I, I, I always say, you know, Jesus is coming and nobody knows when Jesus is going to return. But it seems like we're getting more and more prepared for it. It seems like there's more and more signs. Obviously, the wickedness, the evil in the world is at a point where it's never been before. It's greater than it's ever been before. We've never seen, I just talked about yesterday, a story about a first grader trying to, to off his teacher. Like, I just talked about that story. We've never seen wickedness like this before, but now we're seeing God continue to pour out his spirit, continue to open people's eyes and now we're seeing it happen at the highest levels, quote unquote, of our society with celebrities. You know what I'm saying? Because celebrities have the most amount of influence and stuff like that. But now we're seeing happen it. Now we're seeing that happen in the NFL. So it makes you think, man. The times that we're in, don't be blind to it because things are happening. Things are changing, and just like dude said. He said, we're all going to have to face eternity, right? We're all going to have to face eternity. And either you're going to know God, you're going to know Jesus, or you're not. So I think it's incredible that, you know, DeMar Hamlin was able to make a recovery like that and that he's released. Obviously, there's still going to be a long road to go. So I think it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Um, but don't take this for granted. And don't let your friends and your family try to take this for granted because you see what happens when people pray. You see what happens when people have faith. Why can't we just be like that all the time, right? Um, so still, my prayers go out to, to DeMar Hamlin and his entire family. Let me know what you think about this story. Do you see everything that's going on? Do you see everything that's happening all around us? Man, it's incredible. Let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe if you have not already. Like this video. And also, if you're watching this long, consider supporting the channel by becoming a Patreon. If you become a Patreon, the link is down in the, in the description, but it will allow this channel to number one, hire people. I want to hire Christian editors, writers, producers. I want to hire um, an entire Christian media team so that we can do more research and that we can make and produce better content for y'all and for the kingdom. So if you want to, uh, you know, partner with us, the, the Patreon link is down in the description. All right. I'm out.